Hey guys, Dino here. I thought I'd do a very quick uh, video. I'm just about to make some uh, cider, turbo cider. I'm using the Kerry uh, Tropical Juice. So this is a three litre bottle, which is very convenient because it will fit into four 750ml bottles perfectly. So I've prepared the bottles already, so they've all been uh, sanitised. And I'm using the, um, the Pat Max caps which have the little uh, rubber disc which uh, vent any excess um, uh, CO2 pressure. So what I'll do is I will um, pour the juice evenly into the four bottles and then we will come back. Okay, so I've poured the three litre bottle of juice evenly into these four 750ml bottles. Um, I just poured it in straight from the big bottle into these, but if, um, if you want to use a funnel, you can do that. Uh, just remember to uh, sanitise the funnel first. And then the next step is to add some yeast. So with the Pat Max caps, they kindly sent me some uh, yeast, but um, what I'll recommend is using some wine uh, or cider or champagne yeast. Um, so I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon. I've got a little teaspoon that will measure that amount, so we'll put an eighth of a teaspoon into each bottle. Like so. There we go, so it's an eighth of a teaspoon in each one. Um, I have tried uh, ale yeast, like the USO5, but um, I wouldn't recommend it personally because I found that it gives the cider a sort of sulfury um, smell. Uh, the taste is alright, but yeah, the, it's just got a bit of a sulfur smell. So uh, definitely stick with, um, yeah, like say a cider, champagne or a wine yeast uh, of, your, of your choosing. Just, just experiment and see what you like. So that's it. We're done. I'm just going to tighten these caps up and then just give each of the bottles a good shake just to get the yeast uh, mixed in. Um, and something I've done uh, differently in the last couple of batches is I haven't added any extra sugar to the juice. Um, I used to do that, but um, after watching Rick from Homebrew 62, um, he just used the whatever sugars were in the juice itself um, and on the last batch that worked quite well so um, I think I'll just stick with that. Um, I mean having less sugar you'll, sorry if you don't add any extra sugar you'll still end up with about a 5 or 6 percent um, cider. Um, so all I need to do is just leave these at room temperature for two weeks. Um, I have sort of experimented and tried one after a week, but I found that um, there was still quite a bit of sweetness after a week, so two weeks seems to be the uh, sort of a, a good length of time. And then what I do is after two weeks I pop them in the fridge just to suspend the uh, yeast activity so they don't continue to uh, dry the cider out anymore, and um, yeah, it comes out well. What I'll do is I will show you a cider that I prepared earlier, um, it's a crisp apple cider, so I'll be back very shortly. Okay, so this is uh, like saying the crisp apple cider, um, so it was fermented for two weeks. So we had, uh, this is just a little left over in a bottle, so I'll just pour it out, hopefully it's still fairly carved up. There we go. So you can see how clear that's come out. Um, when I brewed this up after a week, it still hadn't cleared out um, a heck of a lot, but after two weeks it um, pretty much got to this sort of clarity. And then like I said, all the cider went in the bottle. Just do a quick taste test. Yeah, like so we had this last night, um, had my father around for dinner and he tried some, and Sharon as well, and they both enjoyed it. Um, I'd say that's as good as any 
apple cider that I've um, bought from a shop and um, yeah it's hard to believe you can get something like that you know just from juice and adding uh, a little bit of yeast and that's it I don't expect these um, this cider here the tropical cider to clear up to this degree because um, this has got a lot more pulp material in it uh, this was already fairly clear in the bottle when I bought the juice so um, I sort of expected it to sort of clear up quite nicely but yeah it's, it smells great there's no sort of off not off smells but no sulfur coming off the top which was the problem I was getting with the USO5 and, the, or, and other ale yeast good carbonation it's got a nice sort of um, sharp apple bite to it with a nice dry finish at the end so yeah that's very very nice I'll definitely be making some more of this crisp apple cider um, but look also looking forward to the tropical so that's me done guys thanks for watching uh, if you've got any questions um, just sing out and we'll catch you next time cheers